but as it was deemed him to ship into Italy, they betook Paul with other keepers to a centurion by name Julius of the company of knights of the emperor, and he went up into the ship of Adramptium and began to sail, and were born about the places of Asia, while Aristarchus of Macedonia, Thessalonica, dwelled still with us, and in the day pursuing he came to Sidon, and Julius treated courteously Paul, and suffered to go to friends and to do his needs. When we removed from thence, we undersailed to Cyprus, for that winds were contrary. We sailed in the sea of Cilicia and Pamphylia, and came to Lystra, that is Lycia. And there the centurion found a ship of Alexandria, sailing into Italy, and put us over into it. And when in many days we sailed slowly, and scarcely came against Nidus, Nidus, for the wind hindered us, we sailed to Crete, beside Salome, and scarcely we sailed beside, and came into a place that is called of Good Haven, to whom the city Lassio was nigh. Which, when much time was past, and when sailing them was not secure, for the fasting was past, Paul comforted them, and said to them, Men, I see that sailing beginneth to be with wrong with much harm, not only of the charge and of the ship, but also of our lives. But the centurion believed more to the governor and to the lord of the ship than to these things that were said of Paul. And when the haven was not able to dwell in winter, full many ordained counsel to sail from thence, if on any manner they might come to Phoenix, to dwell in winter at the haven of Crete, which beholdeth to Af Africa, that is southwest, and to Corum, that is northwest. And when the south blew, they guessed them to hold purpose. And when they had removed from Ashot, they sailed to Crete, and not after much, the wind to Phonic, that is called northeast, was against it. And when the ship was ravished, it might not endeavor against the wind. When the ship was given to the blowings of the wind, we were born with course into an isle that is called Kata, and scarcely we might get a little boat. When this was taken up, they used helps, girding together the ship, and dreaded, lest they should fall into sandy places. When the vessel was underset, so they were born, and for we were thrown with strong tempests in the day pursuing that made, they made casting out, and the third day with their hands, they cast away the, the instruments of the ship. And when the sun, neither the stars were seen by many days, and tempest not a little rent nigh, now all the hope of our health was done away. And when much fasting had been, then Paul stood in the middle of them and said, Ah, men, it behooved when we heard, when he heard me not to have taken away the ship from Crete. We get this wrong and and we get this wrong in casting out. And now I counsel you to be of good comfort. The loss of no person of you shall be, except of the ship. For an angel of God, whose I am, and to whom I serve, stood nigh to me in this night, and said, Paul, dread thou not, it behoveth that thee to stand before the emperor. And lo, God hath given to thee all that be in the ship with thee, for which thing ye men be of good comfort. For I believe to my God that so it shall be, as it is said to me, and it behoveth to us to come into some isle. But afterward, that in the fourteenth day at the night came on us sailing in the stormy sea. About midnight the shipmen supposed some country to appear to them, and they cast down a plummet and found twenty fathoms of deepness, and after a little they were departed from thence and found fifteen fathoms and they dreaded, lest we should have fallen into sharp places. And from the last ship, part of the ship, they sent four anchors, and desired that the day had become. And when the shipmen sought to flee from the ship, when they had sent a little boat into the sea, under color, as they should begin to stretch forth the anchors from the former part of the ship, Paul said to the centurion, and to the knights, But these dwell in the ship, and may not be made safe. The knights cutted away the cords of the little boat and suffered it to fall away. 
when the day was come, Paul prayed all men to take meat. Said, the fourteenth day, this day, ye abide and dwell fasting and take nothing. Wherefore, I pray you to take meat for your health. For of none of you the hair of the head shall perish. When he had said these things, Paul took bread and did thankings to God in the sight of all men. When he had broken, he began to eat. And all were made of better comfort, and they took meat. And we were all men in the ship, 270 and 6. And they were filled with meat and discharged the ship and cast wheat into the sea. When the day was come, they knew no land, and they beheld an haven that had a water bank, into which they thought, if they might, to bring up the ship. When they had taken up the anchors, they betook them to the sea and slacked together the jointures of rudders, and with a little sail lifted up by blowing of the wind, they went to the bank. When we fell into a place of gravel, gone all about the sea, they hurtled the ship, and when the former part was fixed, it dwelled unmovable, and the last part was broken of was broken of the strength of the sea. And counsel of the knights was to slay men that were in ward, lest any should escape when he had swimmed out. But the centurion would keep Paul and forbade it to be done, and he commanded them that might swim to go first into the sea and escape and go to the land. And they bare some others on boards, some on those things that were of the ship. So it was done that all men escaped to the land.